What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about defining the volumes in your MEP model for Revit. So after learning how to create the spaces, so this time around, let's learn how to check and modify the spaces using a schedule. Okay, so the first thing that we will be doing is let's check out this area here. Okay, here on the urgent care. So as you can see, if you rotate your model in this area, by the way, if you don't have the model, just put a comment in this video and then I'm just going to send you the, the file for this exercise. Okay, so you will notice that some of the spaces on top of the urgent care area are open and set up as a rooftop garden and visual co uh, covering for the outside equipment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open here the level 2 ground floor HVAC plan or the uh, space plan. Okay, so this one, so there's the space plan. So we have here the ground floor space plan. Okay, so in this area here, and then we also have the second floor space plan. Okay, and then we are talking about this couple of area here, so this area here, and then this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these areas here. Okay, so because we don't need this for the analysis. Okay, because as you can see, automatically last time, it uh, it was automatically created when we place spaces automatically tool. Okay, but we do not need these spaces in our analysis. So I'm going to go ahead and select this two space here, and then I'm going to press delete to remove it. But as you can see, there's a warning here. So it says that a spaces or space was deleted from all model views, but it still remains in this project. So the space can be removed by or from any schedule or placed back in the model using the space command. So as you can see, even if you delete the space here, it will just delete it visually. But if you want to remove that completely, which is what we are going to do, you need to have a schedule. Okay? So that is what we are going to do next. So if you do not have a schedule here, a space schedule created, so you need to create one. So to do that, just right-click the schedule quantities and then just create a new schedule here. So select that and then look for a space or spaces and then after that just select here OK. Now so what we need to do is we need to specify the fields that we will be placing on our schedule. So like for example the number so I want to include the number, the name and then the room number name so let's look at that one room number name you are Okay, so there's no room number name here because it is from the spaces. But if I'm going to go ahead and select the room here, so I can now select here the room number and then the room name. And then how about the area? So let me just go to the spaces and then I'm going to go ahead and select the area here. So that's the area. So I want that to be shown. And I also want to show here the condition type as well as the level. So I want to filter this later on using the level. So if I'm going to go ahead and select sorting and grouping, filter, no need, sorting and grouping. So I'm going to go ahead and select here. I want to sort it by level and I want to put a header and footer here. Okay. And then itemize every instance. That's all right. So I'm now going to select here. Okay. There you go. Okay, so now the next thing that we are going to do is, um, as you can see, there is this not place uh, spaces here. Okay, so this is the two spaces that we have deleted earlier. As you can see, it is separated from the spaces that is placed. Okay, now for you to be able to do that, to separate 
these spaces that is not placed so you can do it from here so you can go to the uh, not place unenclosed so you just select show or you can select isolate okay so it will show you here the couple of spaces that we removed earlier so we do not need this so that's why I'm just going to select these two space here and then I'm going to select here delete just delete that one and then select OK there you go and then let us now show all the spaces now sorry about that now the next thing that we are going to do is um, as you can see I'm going to uh, filter this okay so let me just go back again to the properties filter okay so sort okay so I'm going to sort it by level and then after that by number here so I'm going to select number or how about area so I'll just select area okay so level and then by area and then select OK there you go so as you can see here on, a, on my ground floor for example so I have here spaces which has an area of one square feet okay so if you're going to observe that or if you want to investigate this okay so one tip that you can do is just select this space here and then there is a highlight model here okay so you can select that highlight in model and then it will now go to that particular view okay and then just select close now for this one you will notice that <clears throat> these are just some of the spaces that are not connected to rooms and have a very small square footage like for example this is space 6 here which is actually a column a location of a column so this is because they are chases or sliver spaces which are not named by the architect but for the MEP side this is very important when analyzing the model for HVAC uh, project or HVAC project okay you see this is small uh, square footage here is not specified by the architect okay so these are chases and sliver spaces so that is uh, that is important to the uh, HBAC projects for analyzing the model now going back to that one okay so we are going to modify this one okay so let's modify that so meaning we're just going to change the name of this so going back to the space schedule so all the one square feet area um, spaces so I'm gonna change that to column okay so what we are doing right, uh, right now is we are using the schedule to make modification to the chase spaces using this uh, schedule okay so now I'm gonna change this to I'm just going to change this to column same with the other ones so I'll change this I'll change this to column column Okay, so what else? So this one is also column. Oops. It should be column. Column. Okay, and now if we're going to observe this uh, space um, 52 and then space uh, 46, so you will notice that this is space our chase. Okay, so that is what we're going to do next but if you want to observe it so you just click one of this space here and then you can highlight that in the model so as you can see it's this one okay so this will gonna be a chase right so we are going to change that so let's go to the schedule and then let's change the remaining space here to chase name okay chase so I change this as well to chase and then chase again there you go okay so after learning this one the next thing that we're gonna do is let's check out now the uh, 
placement of our elevator. Okay, so where is the elevator here? So let's say, for example, this one. So this is the space on our ground floor, and then we actually also have the space here on our second level here. Right? So we are going to correct this. Okay, so you, you will notice that you have these spaces on level 1 and level 2 elevator. So these are both in the same general space, but they are, uh, they are placed on separate floor. Okay, so what we are going to do is, uh, let's select, let's uh, observe again. So I'm going to select this space here. And then if you check the properties, you can see here is the current level, second floor, and then the upper limit here is second floor. And then the limit offset is 12 feet and 4 inches. This is the default height for spaces when they were uh, inserted. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ground floor space plan here. And then I'm going to select this um, space. And then let's change the upper limit of this. So instead of ground floor, I'm going to make it until the atrium roof, until the top, on the atrium roof. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm not going to specify here the limit offset. So I'm just going to make that zero. Enter. And then you will now see this warning because it overlaps to another space on the upper level which is okay, we're going to modify that. So space over, uh, space volumes overlap, so adjust the upper limit and limit offset properties of the spaces. Okay, so just select okay for this one. We're going to edit the other space here on the second level. Okay, so now, instead of going to the second level here, another way of editing your space is by checking the warnings in your project. So if I'm going to select this space here, you can see there's a warning here. There's a contextual tab, modify spaces warning. So I'm going to select show related warnings. So this is another way or a great way for you to edit your uh, model. Okay. So if I'm going to expand the warning one, you can see here that you have the uh, space on the elevator one and then you also have the space on elevator two which is we do not need this one because we already modified the elevator on our level one up to the top so we don't need this space anymore so this is the reason why there is an overlapping that happens okay so i'm gonna check this one and then i'm going to delete checked okay so this is one way of uh checking out the warnings in your project or addressing warnings in your project okay so i'm just going to delete this warning. okay so as you can see again it says same warning as we have encountered earlier so space was deleted from all model views but still remains in this project so the space can be removed from any schedule or placed back in the model using the space command all right so same warning so again, so what we're going to do is going back to our space schedule. Okay, so we are now going to uh, select this one. So we don't need this anymore. So I'm going to select this and then let us now delete this one. Okay, right. So we don't know. So select this and then delete. Oops, just cancel. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to go back again to my uh, level 2. Let's go back to our level 2 is this one. Okay. So this is where we are going to place another space tag. Okay. Just a tag. Okay. So we're not going to place a space because, again, this is the space of our uh, ground floor up to the atrium roof. So what we are just going to do is we're just going to place a tag correctly. So let's tag this. There you go. So let's tag that. And then let us now change the name to a correct one. So let me just change this. 
So let's remove the dash one because we don't have dash two anymore. Okay, that is the overall one. Enter. There you go. Okay, so now if I'm going back to the space schedule, so it's now properly modified. Where are you? There you go. Okay, so basically that's how you try uh, checking and modify the spaces in our schedule. Okay, so this is how you do it. So these are just some of the tips. So what you can do is in your project, you can review other spaces and make changes as needed using this space schedule as an aid all right so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can okay so thank you for watching have a nice day